Hello everybody, this is Yusuf. Welcome back to my channel. And uh, today we're gonna make one of the most authentic and essential Iranian or Persian food, which called Qurma Sabzi, that made out of the herbs and a meat, and it's gonna be a nice and delicious stew, which if you ask nine out of 10 of the Persian, that's gonna be their favorite food. And if you make it the way that I show you, I'm pretty sure you're gonna love that too, and it's gonna be one of your uh, favorite dish. Now, we're gonna go over the ingredients with you and show you how to make it. So, uh, start from the onion, one uh, medium to large onion, which is gonna be chopped and saute, and the meat, uh, the meat that I chose, it's a beef and a lamb. So it's about like a two third of beef and one lamb shank only. I took the beef out of it and I used the bone also. So the beef that I used here is a London broiler and one lamb shank. And uh, then I have the herbs with a ratio of four bunch of parsley, four bunch of chives, one a small bunch of fenugreek and one bunch of cilantro which some people they like some people they don't if you don't like it you don't have to the fenugreek is very very important because all the fragrant and the aroma comes from that special herbs and if you cannot find it there is a dry one which is as good as a fresh one and you can find it in all persian a food store supermarket or you can order online and uh, now if you can find the chevez you can use link does the same thing and this food actually is going to be for six people that's why the ratio are so eating that the stew you need the rice which i'm going to make that later on and for the people that they know i'll show you the link to go to how to make the rice and the beans also is a very important part of the food and I use the kidney I soak that for a couple of hours and the red beans or kidney beans is something that nah, most of the Iran make this food with this but there are some parts of Iran like in north and north west of Iran they use black eye peas and some part they use you know pinto beans but the rest they use this and I love this also using the kidney beans. There are uh, dry lime and this is very important also. You can use that, you have to. And uh, I'm using like a six or seven of that. One and a half uh, or two teaspoon of the turmeric, one and a half black pepper, one and a half salt, and we need onion and need also olive for saute the beef and an onion and also the herb after we chop that i usually chop this with the hand and today i'm going to chop it with the uh, food processor because you know i mix, uh, mix it faster and easier and uh, then uh, we're going to go over to how to saute those and put them together okay after i do that I'm going to show you how it's going to be turned to and show you how to cook the food. This is what the chops looks like and uh, just going to put that in a pan for a, for a few minutes and beat out any oil to get the excess water out of it. Then I'm going to add the oil to it to just uh, saute that and it has to turn to black. So the more on a heat, the better the result gonna be. Okay, after a few minutes, then I'm gonna add a little bit of oil on this one, and I show you how to, it's gonna be, when it's gonna be done. And while he's doing it, I'm gonna go and chop the onion, and I start 
uh, saute that in another pan with the meat. I think it's a time to add the oil in it. It's about like a four or five tablespoon oil. Make sure that it has enough oil to saute very well. And frequently you have to turn around. Not to burn. But it has to turn, the color has to be dark. So we're going to come back to it later on. Okay, um, before I add the meat to it, I, this is time I add the turmeric also and uh, turn around with the meat that I'm going to add to it. Constantly turn this around because otherwise it's gonna uh, start uh, releasing the juice out of that meat and it's gonna be dry. So this way it's gonna be sealing if you just do it fast. It's gonna seal the meat and it's gonna the juice gonna stay inside the meat. So this is very important that just turn around for a few minutes. Okay, this is also time that I'm going to add the black pepper. Okay, we're going to just saute this and turn around till you don't see any red meat here. Then we're going to add the beans and the water, uh, it prefers to be hot water and uh, about like a half away and let it start cooking till our herbs gonna be ready and we're gonna add it to the meat. I would like to add a little bit uh, of dry vinaigrette because, you know, as I said, this most fragrant uh, herb and it makes the whole food. Um, this time to the meat and let it saute a little bit. Then it's the time to add the beans and water. So this is a good time and this is the right time. Okay, um, as you see, this is the, it has to turn to this color to be ready. So you have to just constantly, you have to turn it and, you know, on a medium heat and not to the burn, but at the same time to the color turn to, to dark. The darker is better. Now it's a time to add it to the rest of the uh, food in the pot 
and also is the time to add the dry uh, lime and a salt. It's a, this time you have to let it cook at least four hours. The longer it cooks, the better result. So you can do it from four to 10 hours with low heat and let it cook, you know, slowly, cook slowly, slowly, then you're gonna get a better result. So I'm just let it go and come back to it about maybe, hey, once in a while you come and you just turn around in maybe four hours, three hours, we come back to it to see how it's doing. It's been more than four and a half hours that this has been cooking. If you look at it, it's beautiful, it's just done, and uh, you might let it cook for another hour or so, it's up to you, but to me, it's done, it's perfect. And about an hour ago, I took some of those uh, dry uh, lime uh, uh, out of that because uh, if it stay there, it might be a little bit sour and because of the seeds, it might get bitter. But some people, they love to have it when they cook. When you want to serve it, you can add it back to the food. Now, I'm gonna take it out and show it to you how to serve that with the rice that I cooked already. Here we are at uh, our famous, world famous korma sabzi. It's done, ready to eat it with the uh, rice, which Iranian, they usually uh, have the, some green with it, which is, uh, we use the radish, uh, mint, basil, and green onion and also raw onion because all they love to have the raw onion with this food too. So the way that it is, just take some of the rice and pour some of the Orme Sabzi stew on the top of it. Then you eat it. And again, thank you so much for watching and uh, Till next time that I come with the, another food, which probably might be uh, bagali polo, because we have some requests for that. And again, uh, see my channel on a YouTube and recommend to your friend, let them see it also. By the way, you have a very nice tadik also here that it turns beautiful. And also that's delicious if you put some of the uh, stew on the top of it and see you next time thank you for watching